do 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 Thank you, Channel 69, <laughs> Fibro Flare. I think it's a Fibro Flare mixed with an Arthritis Flare. That's what I think. I've been, like, my back and my neck and my shoulders and my hips have been just horrible today. Ugh, it's been horrible horrible today. It's been a rub down day. It has. I've been <laughs> shaken because of the pain. Yeah. And 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 you like only my fibro people understand or people who like suffer from chronic pain is like shaken from pain. It's it's so fucking uh Cold makes my arthritis work. Um, I've been cold all day. I've been dealing with with chills and fever today, headache. Uh, last night I couldn't sleep because I had like gut rot. It's just been pretty bad. You know, I did manage to cook something today, which is good, <laughs> but. <laughs> mm. It, it's um withdrawal withdrawal from what back rooms oh i don't care you're full of it what am i withdrawing from speaking of that i have to take my gaba pension yeah i forgot to take it at eight not good yeah uh, fucking I just feel crappy. Are you crying? No. No. No, I haven't had explosive diarrhea, Bobby <laughs> Dub. Dang, any good. No, I've just been in a lot of pain. Ugh, my head. What's gut rot? Uh, your stomach feels foul. You're like burping up eggs. You're farting yeah. eggs. That. What, what? Like, I don't know how else to explain it. Well, it's, it's just... when you eat something that's unagreeable to your stomach and then it just sits in there and you don't pass it. That's how I describe it. Thank you for the reminder. I need to take my my, my meds, too. Yeah, I know. I wish I had someone to remind me of that. Med reminder. <laughs> I wasn't farting in his face all night. Uh, why am I sick? I don't know. Probably going to the hospital like I have been. Go into places with a bunch of children around. That'll get you sick. Mm -hmm. No, it's definitely not food poisoning. What did I eat? I had a salad last night and some garlic toast. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. I don't know. Hi, Ava. That quiche, was, the quiche was delicious. Yeah, it was amazing. Did Rev get his seven dollars for cigarettes? He needs seven. He he got seven dollars for cigarettes. I don't think so. Did you? No. No. <laughs> Better stock up on Pepto Bismol. Yeah, maybe. 
Will you make a recipe book? I actually have been thinking about making a recipe book. Cool. Um, I definitely would want to sell it just pure hardcover because, like, it's a recipe book. You want to have it in your kitchen, mm -hmm. you know? Your kids woke up to Easter eggs. Yay! That's cool. No, the sa this, I had a Greek dressing that I put on my salad. So. Ooh, you had eggplant veggie tacos. That sounds delicious. Yum. That sounds really delicious. Like, I'm still trying to... I got, like, two zucchinis, so I'm still trying to figure out Mm. what I should do with the zucchinis. I, I might put one of them in a pasta because I love zucchini and pasta. I was just going to say that's the best, man. Yeah. I love zucchini and pasta. <clears throat> Weren't you in a flare yesterday? Yeah. It's just worse today. Yeah. <laughs> They work. They can go for like a week. Can't they? they can last months. Some some people have flares that can last months. I think you got a super chat. I did get a super chat. Oh, you read it already? Yes, I did. All right, good. good, good. Thank you for that too. <laughs> yeah. You had Wendy's. Oh, what did you have at Wendy's? I love Wendy's. Their regular burgers kick butt. Not even the Dave Single. The cheaper than the Dave Single. Like I found this really cool. Let me put. Let me put. Um. <clears throat> him in um the yeah. chat but i found this really cool like historical historical anthropologist on food and it's called taste in history with max miller and the content is so amazing like really? i i highly recommend this guy um if you're into you know the history of food or anthropology of food, I guess. Food anthropology. If you're interested, that is a great channel. And I've been watching it and it's like really inspiring me mm -hmm. over, you know, cooking again, which is nice. Um, but he made this like white ketchup, right? And I was like, and then he made this honey mead. Oh, the mead, it seems, it's like water, mead, and yeast. That's all you need to do to make, like, honey, water, and, and yeast for yeah, mead. Pretty much. Honey um, comb. Yeah. Put honey comb in it. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. That's really cool. Yes, Jason has his peanut butter. Yeah. Yes, I do. I'm a happy boy. <sighs> Call an ambulance for what? To go to the hospital so they, like, put me on morphine just to send me out five hours later and me be just feeling no pain for just a few hours? No. And you want to vomit? And I want to vomit, yeah. Well, usually when they give me the morphine, it's a, a shot so it doesn't affect my stomach. Oh, okay. Gotcha. And then I feel like I'm floating down a cloud. For a while, but it doesn't last long. Yeah. So, no, not worth it. Hi, Sandra. How are you, sweetheart? I know. <sighs> are you going to make mead? I'm thinking of making, of, of making, like, um, a video on making mead and then trying it out. It sounds interesting, but... Like, I'm just looking at all these different recipes, and, and, and they're from, like, the, like, 1100s, 1300s. I really want to try some of the, the Mesopotamian and Babylonian recipes. Yeah, those look really interesting. Because that's up my alley, the way they cook, the spices and stuff they use. I would go nuts for that shit. I know I would. Yeah. I'd love that stuff. I'd never get morphine, Marquis. Really? <clears throat> okay. That's why last time I went to the hospital for a flare, they gave me a morphine shot, right? Because I'll never get it. Thanks for telling me. 
Ugh. They don't send me home with aftercare medicines at all, Malice. At all. They give you a shot and send you home. That's what they do. For you, yeah. Yeah. That's what they do for you. So you'd rather sit there, complain, than go in and get some help? What is it going to do other than me getting a little bit of pain relief and then five hours later I'm back to feeling the same way? Do I have to go back to the hospital five, five hours after just so I don't feel the flare? Come on. It's dumb. Karma, many points. Well, you know what? How about this for your karma, since you always have to be rude to me? There. There's your karma. Happy Easter, Lisa. <laughs> I'm probably dehydrated. No, I am not dehydrated. Thank you for being a doctor. Definitely not. <laughs> You're drinking plenty. You're hydrating. Are we coloring eggs? Nah, man. Why? I'm 39 and you're 40 coming up. Like, what the hell? We're going to color eggs? Did Rev get $7? No. No. No, he didn't. That's a negative. Needed 20. <laughs> People deserve pain? What's wrong with you, Ray? People deserve to be in pain. What is wrong with you? You like human suffering? You think people deserve human suffering? Okay. I was taught, I, that a person like that, I was talking to my therapist how much you're like cancer on the planet today. I know, right? People like you. You really are. Like Agent Smith was accurate in speaking about you, about you people. If he's talking about you guys, yeah. Am I low in iron? Uh, vitamin D. I may be. I don't know. I haven't checked it for a while. I was fine last time it got checked. <sighs> no one deserve. I didn't deserve. I didn't s inflict anything on my sons. No. Ugh, that's such a lie. Yep. And when my sons tell you nothing like that happened, then 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 you go and and then you say that I did something and then my boys are lying for me instead of actually taking what they say cuz cuz you know better what happens in our personal life than our own family, right? Oh. Oh, bless your heart, Lori. <sighs> I had two iron infusions within two weeks apart. I was low. Well, I mean, I got my blood tested, like, three months ago, and it was fine, so. Ugh. Some people are really gross. Ew, Lori, a sardine and egg smoothie? Oh my god, no. Is that some protein? Ugh. I'm not very hungry, to tell you the truth. Eggs. Yeah. They're filling. They're definitely good to fill you. Right? Eggs. <clears throat> Stockholm Syndrome. That's an excuse you give to carry on your stupid lies. Now get off my channel, you freak. God, I wish these mentally ill people would go away for good. No, it's 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 like they're 
it's not mentally ill people because we're both mentally ill. It's people who are maniacal. Whatever. It's people who are malicious. That's what you have a problem with. Malicious people. Narcissists, I guess. They're like all weird, yeah. backward narcissists. My son is not malnourished. Stop it with your bullshit. You know nothing about my children. Stop it. Ugh. It's so gross. Ugh. No crap iconic. Why don't I want to go to church? Because it's full of hypocritical people who just want to go and focus on politics instead of focusing on Jesus. And my children are not malnourished. You're psycho. You don't know what you're talking about. Stop Ooh. putting that in my chat. My God. Oh my God, it's always the boys, the boys, the boys. Why do you care about other people's kids? It's so weird. You freaks. Ugh. It's gonna get real bad because of your numbers. I know. <clears throat> they just want it. They want a reaction. Yeah. I'm sorry, Lori. I love you. Thank you, Jillian. <laughs> you heard I got a pet duck, nah. Huh. It's it's behaving really good today, the computer. So yeah, thank God. For now. It is. <clears throat> My Chewy may not make it on the verge of hip dysplasia with two tumors. One. Oh my God. I'm so sorry, Krissa. Bless you. Oh my God. God bless you, Krissa. It's awful when you're losing a fur baby. It's awful because they are like your children. I don't give a I don't care what anyone says. Yep. Yeah. <sighs> Are you done making stuff up on me? I wonder if they'll ever grow up and mind their own business. No, I don't think so. Is my PayPal working? It should be. Let me check. Why don't you send it to Jason at RevDude? Yeah, we should only use that PayPal. At RevDude? Yeah, because I, I got the stuff, you know, I got the card and shit, so. Here you go. That's the best place to put it. Unless you want to use Cash App and that, you know, that's yours. Most of these people can't go one day without making up stuff about someone. That's true. No one's a child abuser in here other than you guys. You abuse people all the time.
I don't abuse anyone. Thank you very much. I'm a good person. Let me go look. Ugh. Huh? Hmm. I don't see anything wrong with it. Well, thank you anyway for trying. No one lied about anything. Again, you're making shit up. Yeah, stream is glitchy. You're marrying someone that was on 600 pound life? Lori, well, good for you. I hope you're happy with them. <sighs> Quackers. Sorry, the computer's treating things right today. Are you really going to argue with someone over why they go to church and why they don't? Because your experience is different from my experience? Do not tell anyone, Sandra, where you're from. They're trying to find you. Yeah, don't tell them, Sandra. They're trying to dox you. They stalk everyone. Well, thanks, Saint Freddy. <laughs> Thank you, BB girl. Leave Shanny alone. She's not doing anything but trying to exist. Exactly. It's true. Exactly. We only want the address. Oh my God, that's so sick, man. Ugh. The people that are like our bad trolls should be banned from the internet. They should not be allowed. No, because be it's really them. it's really sick what they're saying about people. Yeah. You saw a video today about this grifter preacher who claims he can regrow limbs. That reminds me of that woman who had, like, that juke. What is that juice? Like, swamp juice or something like yeah. that? Yeah. This, like, juice thing. And it was, like, a Dr. Phil episode. Yeah. And she said that her juice could regrow limbs and cure everything. But really what it did with its high sodium content is give people the shits, which she called waterfalls. Ha <laughs> ha! That's it. She said, it's not, it's <laughs> Cinnamon toast can stuff. 
Chrissy, you do not have to prove anything to anyone. You don't owe these people anything. Sounds like Jilly Juice. That's what it's called, Mark. It's called Jilly Juice. That's it, yeah. That's it. Thank you. That's yeah. what it's called. I love Joel Osteen. Why do I have a problem with Joel Osteen? He preaches Jesus. So what? He's doing what he feels is good. She can post her own cash app. I don't need to post her cash app. Why do I need to post her cash app? I don't even know her cash app. You're being a bad friend. Whatever. You're just telling people what to do to cause a fight upon people. Exactly, Sandra. You just got out of the tub, Stacy. Ooh, nice. Oh, God, you guys are dumb. I haven't even asked for anything, so stop it with your assumptions. <sighs> I'm not trying to get money here. I'll be on my own when I try that. Yeah, Chris, so you didn't even ask me to do anything, and then everyone's like, you're being a bad friend. Like, why? Because I don't know someone's information. <laughs> I didn't ask for any money. When did I ask for money in this whole stream? You didn't, but you know what that makes me feel like? What? That every time you go live, you just ask right off the bat because that's how they act. I know, right? You know what I mean? <sighs> she don't know my CA or PP. No, I don't. Like, if you want to help her, you can, but, like, you posted Rev's Cash App because someone asked for it. Oh, my God. Oh, I'm sorry about that, Krissa. Maybe, 
I hate to say this, but maybe it'd be best to just put him down so he doesn't have to suffer anymore. You know? Oh, bless your heart. How old is he? How old is he, Krissa? Oh, okay, if the surgery works. How, how much is it, man? To help him. Thirteen on the eleventh. Oh, so it is an older dog. Well, I wish you the best. I hope you can get your little bud fixed. Four to five thousand plus meds to get her dog fixed. Jeez. That's insane. I have insurance or it's over one K. Oh my god. They're just fleecing people. They really are. I wish I could help out. I would. Oh, we definitely would. If this was a couple years ago, yeah. yeah. Four to five hundred. Oh, okay, that's it? That ain't bad. Oh, okay, that's not bad, yeah. Four to five hundred isn't bad. I mean, it's a lot of money. But... Yeah, it is a lot of money, but it can be get... It, you can put that together. You can get that. Yeah. You need to lose 50 pounds so your blood pressure is normal. Yeah. My pl blood pressure is like, like right between the low and like mid high scale, which I don't like. Um, but the doctors say it's most likely due to my pain that my blood pressure is higher than normal. Um, Oh, bless your heart, Krissa. Well, if anyone wants to help Krissa, please go to her channel and help her out. Um, Amen. Yeah. I really hope she gets the help she needs. No, oh, about three years ago, we would have dropped that on you tonight. Yeah. <laughs> no problem. You'll sell everything I own before I don't get it done. Yeah. I get it. We would be like that with Gavin, definitely. Oh my god, I, yeah. I do not, I cannot take hydrocodone, Mariah. It makes me throw up like 15 minutes after taking it. I can't do it. And it's every time I take it. Yeah, you're like a 
you have adverse reaction. To yeah. Like allergic. Yeah. Post your cash app. I'll 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 put it on. Amen. Yeah. I'll pin it for you. It's okay, Mariah. It's it's just like my stomach just cannot take that type of meds. You take Adv I I am on my gabapentin, but it's not a high dose. It's like a hundred milligrams three times a day. So it's not it's like at the beginning dose of gabapentin. So I'm like next time I see my doctor I'm definitely gonna be like, Can you up this please? Um yes it does, Mariah. Pain makes life extra hard. It's just like everything is exhausting. Chris and Dawn. All right. I got it. I just pinned it. If anyone would like to help Krissa to keep her fur, fur baby keep going, it's only $400 dollars please, please and $500. Please donate to her. Yeah, amen. Her fur baby is means a lot to her. Yes. I have fibromyalgia and I'm always in pain and high fatigue. No lift. No lead work. Yeah, like, <laughs> have I tried to leave? Uh, not, yeah, but, like, I've, I've used so much Aleve, Tylenol, Aspen products in my life that it's, my gabapentin is 900 milligrams three times a day. Oh my god, I wish Whoa. I was, I wonder how that is, would god. be like. 900 milligrams three times a day? Day. Yeah, it's pretty high. Oh. Shannon, my gabapentin is a hundred milligrams at three times a day. Also, yeah, it's not it's not helping me, man. Um, You rock, you too. Uh, I, hey, your your fur baby means everything to you, honey. You deserve something to help you out, hon. That's right. Aw, you need a vent, though. Go up on your dose. I, I am. I take 600 milligrams three times a day and it helps so much. Yeah. Uh, I'm hoping he, I, I, like, the medications will eventually come to a point where I, I, like, I can feel comfortable throughout the day, you know? It's just that, yeah. You're on spiralactine? Mm. There is no DA investigating me. That is a lie. Aw, oh, thank you, Chris, for helping Chris. Uh, thank you, sweetheart. Yeah, you're the man. You are awesome, dude. Thank you. But you're just, yeah. You're just... Thank you so much. He's setting up his treasures in heaven. He is. He's a great guy. He really is setting his treasures in heaven. You know, Chris is going through cancer right now, and she doesn't have a lot of money. You know, she's going through it. Yeah. Really hard. And, like, if her animal gives her that comfort, she needs it. Absolutely. 
animals get so I much. hope you get it in G all of it tonight in Jesus Christ's name. Yeah, absolutely. No, I'm telling you, the Lord's setting him up to get blessed so hard. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he's going to be really blessed. Daniel, I help everyone if I can. He's going to up your gabapentin. Yeah, I'm going to be going to the doctor next month as well. So, I'm looking forward to that. On the 15th, I finally start my therapy. So, I'm really, really happy about that. Yeah, I hope you're going to like your person. I pray you like your person because I, yeah. I love mine. I, I know you do. She listens to you. She validates you. Yeah, and it's not like, oh, you're weird for this or anything. It's just I'm going to listen to you and be like, well, let's try and work through it. And that, you know, yeah. That's everything. You also take a cocktail. <laughs> Hello, Tina. I would take a cocktail <laughs> right now. <laughs> Bruh. Our crash. Mead. <laughs> <laughs> just just give me a couple shots of whiskey. I'll be good. I'll be good. <laughs> <laughs> I know you want to throw up, and I'm like, I just look at it like pain. Pain free. Gross. <laughs> yeah, you just hold your nose and you do it. Oh, that's awesome, Danielle. The therapist can be in person or online. If I wanted to. Um, it actually, actually not with the place we're at. If I could drink, I'd have one right now. Me too, man. Why don't I ban the trolls for good? Because they always come back. They'll always come back. They're obsessed with me. Ah, awesome. Thanks, guys, for helping Krissa. Yeah, praise God. Help her fur baby. She needs her baby. Yeah. Yeah, I'm doing telehealth right now. Um because of the car situation. But it's like in person or telehealth it really doesn't make a difference really because it's like you're not with like, a therapist. No, nah, cuz it's like it's all talk. Yeah, it's everything is talk with a therapist, so Tella is preferred, I think. Ah, uh, iconic. Can I join you? <laughs> I need one. I love the horse, oh my god. The horse. I don't know who the horse is, but they always come in my chat and says the horse. Yeah, again, they said the horse. <laughs> the horse. The seagull. What the hell is happening? I don't know. It might be Bob. Then you can't lie on the couch. <laughs> Steven Siegel? <laughs> Steven Siegel, the seagull. <laughs> the the horse, the seagull. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Are these bots? Hunter, send Chrissa the $50. She needs it for her dog to help him get a surgery. Great. So send it to her. Hallelujah. Hi, Jules. How are you, Fluffy Yoshi?
Hunter, I could ask the same question for you. Is this all it is, as good as it gets for you? Coming in my chat every single time I'm online just to harass me? Is that all? Is that your life? I could ask the same question to you while you sit here and judge me for sitting on the computer while you're doing the same, you hypocrite. EMDR. What? Is, I've never heard of EMDR before. Ellen? <laughs> Thank you, Tina. Hello, La Vojan. I, I hope I didn't, you know, ruin your, your, your name. <laughs> hello from America. They're, they say hello from Paris. I know. From Paris, <laughs> the city of lights. Love. The city of lights. And love. My psychiatrist doesn't like me. She's lazy. I do EMDR. I'm going to look that into that EMDR. I'm going to look into that because I've never heard of that. Oh, I'm sorry, Stacy. Jason's not Russian. He's English. Yeah, no, I got no Russian in me at all. None. You matter. Everyone matters. And people don't deserve to suffer. Because that's just gross. To be like that to someone. Every life matters. Fires everywhere in Paris? Oh, it's from the... Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Your people are protesting really, really hard, aren't you? You're like, I'm done. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm modding in the shower. That is so cool, Crash. It's pretty good. Oh. I'm sorry you're going through tr such tribulation in Paris. <sighs> Fires everywhere in Paris. That's just, oh. I don't want that. No! Oh, I'm going to be praying for Paris. I haven't seen much. La, I haven't seen much. My dad also thinks mental illness is in your head and anything that don't want to deal with. Yeah, that's just... It's a whole bunch of reasons why people get mental illness. It's environment. It's genetics. I mean, trauma is one of the main reasons for mental illness. Pray, yes, pray for Paris. I will. I'm at 60 now. Ah, oh, yes. Thank you guys for Praise helping, Krissa. Praise God. Yeah, man. Good job, guys. Has anyone seen the movie The Butler? No, I will pray for Paris because I love Paris. I want to visit it someday.
what's the situation now with Trump? Uh, he, him and his constituents are kind of going crazy. I, I mean, that they're, they're attacking this country. They're saying they're patriots, but yet attacking our DOJ, our FBI, our, our whole legal system. Um, they're, they're saying it's weaponized by Democrats. It's weaponized by Democrats, even though the ones in power are the Republicans right now. No, they're appointed by Biden people and DOJ and shit, honey. A Biden. lot of the people stayed after Trump. Appointed There's them. judges that have been appointed by Trump that are still there. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. <clears throat> but they're saying Alvin Bragg is like a, an agent of Soros and, you know, of the left. <clears throat> Which there's like zero evidence of. <laughs> Jason doesn't love Trump. No. 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 That changed. No, that ship sailed. Yeah. I, I loved him. Yes, I did. I've fallen out of love with him. Because yeah. I kind of opened my eyes to what he always was. <laughs> okay? That's okay, excuse me. How are you, sweetheart? <sighs> but I'm still for good conservative policies to make the country great. I'm still for that. Just the guy is woke. He's just... He's he, a t toxic narcissist. Like, he cheats on his wife, so if he can't be... And he never was loyal to any of his wives. No. So if he can't stay loyal to his wife, what makes you think he'll stay loyal to America? Yeah. True. I mean, if it benefits him. Yep. Still in love with Alex Jones? Nope. That, that love affair ended, too. Now, now, when I say I don't love these people anymore, it, I don't follow the ideology. I, in, in, look, the people that are still MAGA uh, believe in things that I never believed in. Okay? As, as a conspiracy-minded individual myself, I never believed the stuff that these MAGA people put out. Okay? And I would, did call myself MAGA in 2016, yeah. Absolutely. But the way it's gone, and they've gone into the psychosis of just every conspiracy theory is true. And it's like, they, some of these people believe, folks, that a satellite helped switch the votes in the Dominion voting machines. I mean, these people are out of their minds. Like, literally. So, um... When that happens to a movement, you gotta leave it. Yeah, I, yeah. He did say he would. He would go out with his daughter. They have ugh, him and oh yeah. Ugh, it's so gross. The two of them. Like, very very. There's weird. pictures of her like grinding on him, on his lap when she was like fourteen. Sitting on his lap at fourteen. Yeah, in a weird way. Like it looked talk weird. show hosts. They're like flirting with each other. Sort of. Yeah. I. I it's just ugh. Very, very weird. I'm so sorry, La, about what's going on in France. Trump, Trump exposes the hypocrisy at the core of conservative values. He is the logical conclusion of these. <laughs> Happy Easter, excuse me. Like, I'm just... <sighs> How our political system is. Blessed be Ellen. Um, Blessed be all day long. Oh, I wish Paris wasn't burning because it's such a beautiful city. Are we going to do an Easter egg hunt? Sure. Sure. I'll have Rev go look for my Easter eggs. If you know what I mean. Oh, okay. That's what you're talking about. <laughs> Here, baby. Uh, your little guys need a search for the egg. I'll go bobbing for ovaries? Yeah. All right. Go bobbing for ovaries. I'll do that tonight. <laughs> yeah. 
and go bobbing for ovaries, absolutely. I have a limber tongue, I can do it. <laughs> Get all up in there. <laughs> yep. That's right. You could search for Rev's verdicts. What? His huevos? I don't know. Bird eggs? Is that accurate? I don't know. That's bigger than a bird egg, isn't it? More, more like a chicken thigh. That does look like a chicken thigh, doesn't it? Yes, it does. That's weird. <laughs> I never noticed that. You're right. Christ. Thanks. Thanks for giving me a peep show. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Why don't we get a couple of hens to lay eggs? I mean, I've always wanted to have chickens. I've had chickens before, but like, I, like as an adult, not as just a kid. Yes, I want to thank people for Krissa for helping her out. Like, we need to keep this fur baby alive. <gasps> Am I going to be like Xena and save France? Um, no. Happy birthday, Iconic! It's not offensive to say Paris Hilton is hot. No. But, um, if you see that one video, you know, the, 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 the adult video she made, it really sucked, because the whole time, it's like during that time, she was like posing. And it's like, honey, you need to move. <laughs> but anyway... <laughs> She's too rich to have to move during. <laughs> She's like, I'm too rich. Exactly. I all I have to do for this is pose. They probably told her that. Don't worry about it. You don't have to do any crazy. Just, just take it. Like it was me. dumb. <laughs> just take it, bro. I can't name a decent celeb excess tape. Um, Pamela Anderson and Tommy Lee was really good. I'm just saying, in my opinion. I can and, and the Kim Kardashian one was pretty good, too. Was it? Oh, yeah, she can take a pound in. I'll be right back. I'm Italian. I gotta, I gotta go take a pee-pee. I mean, look at her. Look at her butt. She can absolutely take a pound in. Oh, yeah. Ray J was all over that. Ray J? Brandy's brother. Oh, okay. You know who Brandy is. Yeah, I know Brandy, yeah. Yeah, she's my time, Brandy. You. Yeah. Kim's was awful. You don't like, you didn't like Kim's, Janice? Oh, my God. I'm sorry. Yeah, Shani is Italian and, and Irish. Who the hell are you to determine how Christians talk? And who are you to decide who's fake and real Christians? We're just not uptight here. Who's saying we're not real Christians? Some guy. I don't care. I think they want to hear me say I don't believe in Jesus. <laughs> I make no sense. What the hell are you talking about? You speak English? You know you can laugh through pain? Are you dumb? 
<laughs> oh my god, this bullshit. This is why I do not look at the chat. Yeah. This is why I don't. I don't look at it. I'm sorry. And I'm going to continue not to because my therapist would tell me not to. Have you been doing anything special for East? Um, yeah. Probably going to be doing uh, tomorrow, probably giving you guys the uh, preaching on the resurrection. I mean, it's, it's a damn good time to do it, isn't it? It is. Rev, calm down. Go to hell. Real Christians don't make sex tapes. Well, why no, don't no, you... no, It's okay. It's okay. Jesus Christ. It's I can't okay. say anything? It's okay. It's okay. You see what little lady... <sighs> do not ask me to look at this while you're gone. I'm so... Okay? I'm just like, don't do okay. that again. Don't ever do it again. Because I'm not going to from now on. <sighs> you guys are just going to have to wait till she comes back from now on. Have I ever been to Gre Italy? I lived in Italy, Naples, when I was like a few days after I was born. My parents moved to Italy because my dad had a job with the Air Force. And we moved to Italy and I was there since like two and a half. I don't remember any of it. But I really want to go back to Naples and see if I can like stir up some memories by like the smells. Because I know smell is like the number one thing that can trigger a memory. I would love, I wouldn't mind ha seeing like, or at least, you know, having a memory from that early, you know. No. You played Yoshi's Island? I love Yoshi's Island. The little bar baby Mario. Mm -mm. I didn't care for that. <laughs> gondola rides or gondola rides. Those are in um, um, Venice. The gondolas. I want to live in Japan, Canada, and Switzerland. Me too. <laughs> Unless you're born there, you ain't living in Switzerland, sorry. People are annoying him, that's why. Who are just playing, really? great opportunity to talk about the resurrection and the reason Jesus died. Yeah, I figure no one else on the internet's going to do it, so someone has to. Um, and I love talking about Jesus. <laughs> of course. Of course. He is my king. He is, man. Oh, we have this really cool freaking, um, uh, eclipses coming up like there's going to be this hybrid eclipse like it's going to be a solar eclipse and a lunar eclipse at the same time wow yeah that's pretty cool that's really cool tina turner lives in switzerland that's awesome hmm? lj benny says you look a, li a bit like brad pitt that's a compliment Who looks like Brad Pitt? You do. What? Yeah, you look like Brad Pitt a little bit. No. <laughs> no, definitely not. <sighs> I don't see that. Tina Turner didn't die. No, she's still living. Pretty sure. All right, Carl. Behave. That's how you do Eastern Weekend with Jameson? <laughs> I'm 
Sounds oh, familiar, yeah. Waking up Easter and weekend with a big old hangover. <laughs> Tino lived in Switzerland for many years. That's awesome. Man. Maybe if you are, like, rich and famous, you can go live there. No problem, Chris. So you go lay down and, you know, have your rest with your baby. I love you, girl. Yeah, God bless you. Yeah, God bless you, sweetheart. I'm going to have a big Spanish omelet made with my own eggs. Ah, oh, you have your own chickens. You're so lucky. Oh, I'd love that have my own chickens be like hello babies i could see watermelons sitting next to them mm -hmm. the chickens mm -hmm. just staring at them the whole time yeah <laughs> studying them <laughs> she is a dv icon you know what's the crappy though is like ike turner was in the Rock and Hall f fame before Tina. And Tina's done way more music than Ike. Ike Turner, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. What a piece of trash he was. Very bad version. Prayers and puppy kisses. Yes! Exactly. And puppy kisses. I didn't make an omelet today. I made a quiche, so it's similar. Yeah. I made it with the um, Pillsbury biscuit dough. That's the sheet. Oh. That was awesome. Mushrooms, spinach, some Cracker Barrel cheddar cheese. I forgot to say that was in it. Yeah. Yeah. Some cracker Barrel cheese. Extra, extra sharp white. Mm -hmm. Some parm. And then you put like three pads of butter on the top for it to melt in. So yep. Oh my God. Yeah. Yep. It was good. Sh Very good. I live off quiche. Oh, it's so good. I'm not even a fan of quiche, and I loved it. <laughs> I don't even like quiche. Like I don't. Like, I'm not. A, I'm not big on eggs. I, I have 45 chickens at the moment, and I got another 50 coming. Woo! You go, girl. That's a lot of eggs per day. How do you deal with so many eggs in the day? Do you, like, give them to neighbors? Do you sell them? Well, thank you, Channel 69. Oh, God, I hope I'm going to be able to sleep tonight. You're making me want to make a quiche. Oh, it's so easy to make a quiche. Everyone's like, everyone's like, ah, it's so hard to make a quiche. No, no, it's no. like a do not, But do not call it easy because there's steps. There is steps. There's to steps. It. But to me, it's like a second nature to like cook stuff. So, well, that's fine. But that's because you're a cook. Like, yeah, it's not just a simple recipe. There's some steps. No, I'm going to specialize in dark brown egg layers or chocolate eggers. Oh. Oh, brown eggs are so good. I like them. I don't think I've ever had one unless I've had it in a restaurant and I know it was brown. But see, fresh eggs uh. from your own chicken coop? Oh, my God. So much better than that store crap. So much better. Of it would be. That's why I liked living with my um, roommate before I got with you, because she had the chickens. Oh yeah, yeah. And her, we always yeah. had fresh eggs. Yeah, it was like a zoo in that place. It was pretty much a zoo in that place, wasn't it? <laughs> so it seemed. You could sell chocolate eggs for fifteen bucks a dozen. Whoa. Oh. 
These are really dark brown. I have 79. Auntie, is there a way you could give me a picture of your eggs? Um, on my Instagram, it's Shani Needs Love. I would love to see how the eggs look. I've never seen like really dark brown eggs. Fresh farm eggs last for weeks out on the counter if you don't wish the bloom off. Yeah, exactly. I'm a Waldorf. <laughs> Hi, the horse. Like, what would you two Catholics say or do for the problems in France? I'm not Catholic, so... I, 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 I wouldn't know. Uh, yeah, a picture of her eggs. A camera shot of it. Oh, okay. Why is my cam not on? So I don't want it on. As simple as that. I think they are still freaking out over the raise of the retirement age, which I just, I think it was wrong to do to people because they were like, what have you accomplished so far in this life? Nothing, Nettie. Absolutely nothing. I accomplished nothing. Hi, Christina. How are you? You two are like Stotler and Waldorf from The Muppet Show. <laughs> the Barn... Barn... Barnvelder egg. Okay. Where the fuck is my phone? Down the floor, baby. Oh, it is. Barnvelder eggs. Barnvelder eggs. Oh, wow, they're beautiful. Oh, those are gorgeous. I like that. You miss my face? I don't. <laughs> uh, I don't think I could do overnight work anymore, Christina. God bless you for it. <laughs> Are we doing okay in America? No. Absolutely not in America. We're completely divided. We're... we're, we're... <laughs> We're going to have a civil war, probably, because of these Trumpers. Um, our economy sucks. The food prices suck. Most people are miserable and rude. It's bad here in America. I don't see anything... I. It, this summer is going to be really violent and bad, I think. And all the shootings, that, the mass shootings that have been happening, like every day it's like three or four mass shootings here in America. So, it's not good. You got into farming? I'd love to go into farming. Our president has dementia. Yeah, there's that too. <laughs> I'm getting a EMDR for my dissociative amnesia. Wow, that would be nice. <laughs> that would be nice not to deal with that crap anymore. 
Minneapolis won't allow you to have chickens? That's crap. Yeah. Thank God guns are banned in Australia. Yeah. I don't think people... I don't think people are responsible enough for guns. No. They're too angry. They're too mentally ill. I don't know how they'll deal with people with mentally ill and guns because it's like it deals with HIPAA laws involved and it's like... But it's in our Second Amendment to have a well-regulated militia. So. Well, happy birthday, Krista. Guns are only as dangerous as the person holding it. Yeah, but what if everyone's dangerous right now? Because they feel hopeless in the world. I don't know. Someone doesn't understand the Constitution. I don't understand the Constitution when I literally quoted it of a well-regulated militia. Give me a break. Uh... I guess so, Melly. The Second Amendment is outdated, needs to be deleted. Yeah, it really needs. Uh, we need an overhaul on on what's going on in our. It's all over the world, though. Why would you shoot up a preschool, though? Like, that's just... Little kids? Because you hate Christians? Like, why attack the children? Mess. No, it's messed up. And, um... We really need to overhaul our system in, like... I, I don't know, rip everything up and start anew at this point. Because it's, uh, our, our world is so broken. Anyone who thinks the Second Amendment needs to be deleted is regarded. Huh? I love the Second Amendment. Yeah, I would assume. Just waiting to pull that trigger, huh, Alana? Just waiting to pull that trigger on someone. You're going to be judged for that in your heart, by the way. Mental health is key. I agree. We really need to get more therapists more counselors. Uh, I think mental health should be prioritized just like physical health care. Like if you, if, you, if, you, if you go to the doctor, you should go to a mental health doctor. You know? I love my sons. Shut up with your lies. Hobby wouldn't shut up. <laughs> I 
Have I ever visited this con have I ever visited Europe? Yeah, I lived in Italy. Uh, Twinkle World Order. <laughs> Lori, you know the answer to that. <laughs> I love your name, Twinkle World Order. I love that. Stacy, do you love that name, Twinkle World Order? We need more twinkles in this world. More glittery things, more rainbows. <laughs> How long? A couple years. You have four dogs? Wow. I have no dogs. Zero. I want a pit bull. That's what I want. I want a pit bull. Where is Rev? Should we be worried? No. Why should you be worried, Scarface? Hey, excuse me's hubby, what's up? What's his name, excuse me? I could say his name, or like, I don't know. Does he have... <laughs> Pitbull will kill chickens. Yeah, they would, wouldn't they? I couldn't handle a pitbull. I love pitbulls. They're awesome dogs. Scarface, he died. Jason died. That's why he's not here. He died. He's gone. He's nowhere to be found. He disappeared. He, 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 he went to another dimension. <laughs> Pities are wonderful dogs. Thank you, sweetness. Uh, they are the best dogs, in my opinion. I've never had a problem with a pit bull. Never. I always just got an unbelievable amount of love from pit bulls. More than any other dog that I've ever met. Or breed of dogs, I guess. Is this the end of the world, Shani? Yeah. It is. <laughs> a friend told me I was delusional. I almost fell off my unicorn. That's hard when you fall off your unicorn. I did that a couple times. But you just get back on your unicorn and you're like, hey, if you can't believe in the beautiful things in life, I can't help you. <laughs> Happy birthday, M60. Oh my god. Guns are firing outside your home? What is wrong with Paris? <sighs> Happy birthday to Meek W. Have I read Nostradamus? Yes. I have. Very much. I love Nostradamus. He's amazing. Oh, I 
I'm so sorry, Libra. That's awful. Was he getting older? I know sometimes when they get um, older, they kind of get a little dementia. Uh. Guns are firing all over the place. Step outside once in a while. Well, I do. And um, there's no gunshots around here. Do you hear them? You would hear them. Sorry, people are disturbed. Yes, they are, Stacy. I am very into Nostradamus and Da Vinci. <laughs> You're welcome, Scarface. You lived in Italy? Yes, I lived in Naples. She was five and just turned all of a sudden. I'm so sorry. No, it's not too far from France. Oh, that's our heat. I was like, what is going on? Uh, when did I live in Europe? 1983. It's been a while. I, I, was, I, I was just a few days old when I went to Italy. My dad was um, working for the Air Force. Um, I'm not sure what the base was called. No, I wasn't born in Italy. I was born in Schenectady. <laughs> A couple years in Europe, yeah. I wish I was born in Italy. I would have a dual citizenship. And I would be like, screw you, America. I'm going to Italy. I'm going to eat pasta for the rest of my life. <laughs> um, I was two and a half when I moved back to the States. I know, Naples is... Uh, like I said, I want to go back just to, like, see if I can trigger any memories. My sister has some memories of Naples. She's 15 months older than me. Oh, oh, dog, Shanny, you have enough problems. I have cats. Yeah. Happy Easter to everyone. And eventually I'll get another guinea pig. Because I love, actually, a couple guinea pigs. Because I don't like them. They're social animals. They like being with people. Yeah. And I just love guinea pigs. One day you and I can run away to Italy. Oh, yeah. I'd do it in a flash. Just go to Italy and just, oh, uh, feel that nice, warm Mediterranean breeze. Uh, you don't know anything about my family, liar. Have I owned pit bulls? No. 
I've lived with pit bulls. They weren't my own, but I've lived with pit bulls, and I loved it. Oh, I love my key cots. They're the best. Like, I was lying on the couch, and I had Gavin, and he was holding me. You don't seem like a large dog person. I am, though. I don't like little dogs. They they are ankle biters. And they're loud. Dude, you say it. You can't even spell chlamydia right. So don't even say I have chlamydia when you can't even spell it right. How do I control anxiety? Meditation. And deep breathing. Sandra, why don't you try my husband's PayPal? At RevDude. Here. I'm sure it would come into that. I don't know what's wrong with mine. Because I don't see anything on it. Oh, Krissa. She's online right now. That poor thing. Deep breathing, meditation, medication for anxiety. See, that that's that's basically what I do. It only allows me yours. I'm linked to you. Well, let me see. Maybe I could give you a request. Let me see. Maybe it'll work that way. Where's the traffic lights? Where's the bicycles? There. I'm not a robot. Get the traffic lights. Okay, I got the traffic lights. Are you done? Thank you. Trying to do something. There we go. I just requested from you, so maybe that'll work. Um, there we go. My goodness, you Americans are so different. You have it so easy. No, uh, I don't know if we have it easy here. It's pretty hard. Have you heard of EFT, emotional freedom technique? No. Is it is it like being a Vulcan or something? Uh -huh. <laughs> I work. <laughs> Emotion is not logical. <laughs> I'm working right now.
I think I am anyway. Yes, you are. If I'm trying to. Yes, you are, honey. And, and to tell you the truth, I don't want to because I've had this like m migraine all day in between my eyeballs. That's why I came over here. Do you have a migraine too? No, I felt one starting to come up, up. And if I lay down before it starts, it I can make it not manifest. Vulcan what? Well, Vulcans strip themselves of their emotions. Steroid injections? I'm afraid of taking steroids, though. Because there's two people I know that absolutely lost their mind. Actually, three people. No, three people I know 